Welcome to the Waterloo Hotel Blackpool for the final stages of one of the biggest events on the Ladies Crown Green Bowls calendar, the Ladies Waterloo Championships. 32 ladies will be competing here for the final of this event which has been played here since 1977. Among the ladies who had success in the event are Joyce Foxcroft who's won it twice and Roberts also a double winner and the late Barbara Rawcliffe. Karen Galvin from Warrington has won it on four occasions, but without doubt the lady who is the queen of the Waterloo Bowling Green is this lady here, Lynn Pritchard from Chadsmore in Staffordshire. Winner for a record five times, and here again hoping for a six. I caught up with Lynn just before she went on the green. Well, I know you're itching to get onto the green. I've just seen the bookies board, you quoted at a, a very short price, seven to four favourite. What, what do you think of that? Do they put any more pressure on you? Not really, Mel. I suppose, in all fairness, having having won the tournament five times, I'm, I'm bound to be a very short price. Um, added to it, there has been a few shocks in, in this year's tournament with um, Nicola Bolton, um, reigning champion Melissa Herbert, and Karen Galvin actually going out in earlier rounds. Um, so, but it's still a good quality lineup. Um, you know, it's going to be a hard tournament to win, but uh, just go on there. Play well, you got a chance, and, uh, and do the best I can. It'd be nice to get a six title, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, you got to a first round draw, Debbie Farmer. She's a good player, isn't she, Debbie? She is, yeah, and she's, uh, you know, she's like me. She plays in a lot of the open tournaments. She plays in a, in a mixed league, um, so she's she's a good competitor, Debbie. You know, so it'll be a, a very very tough opening game. So I've really got to, got to get my head down right from the first ball. Yeah. Okay, well, I know you're itching to get on there. The ladies are just getting on the green for a practice. So, uh, wish you all the best and we'll speak to you later. Thank you. The play is um, just about to commence. You can see the ladies there all having the photographs taken. The uh, play will get underway in a moment. And the uh, prize money today is £1,660 with the first prize of £500. Uh, I'm now going to go over to uh, Andrew Cairns, who's with Pat Crowther. Joining me now is Pat Craver, the uh, British Grain Green Ladies uh, Competition and Development Officer. Uh, thanks for joining us, Pat. Um, I don't really know much about the ladies' game and the role that uh, you played in the sport. I wonder if you could tell us a bit about it. Um, well, basically, the Development Officer is very similar to what I do for the British Crown Green. Um, it's supporting, you know, new initiatives and uh, trying to get new ideas off the ground. The competition side of it is that um, I deal with all the competitions for the British Crown Green ladies, right out to the players when they've qualified, do the draws, things like that. Okay. What you would expect from a competitions hmm. officer, really. I mean, as, as somebody who, who obviously doesn't know that much about the ladies' game, do you feel that um, the ladies' game is coming on more than it was? Has it, has it gone any further? Is it standing still? Is it getting more people playing? I, I think um, I think it has developed since uh, certainly you know from when I first became involved with British Crown Ring Ladies I think we only had about four or five competitions and now those competitions have doubled you know since then so there's definitely more competitions for the ladies and I think the membership if you look at the new members each year um, I think the ladies are getting about a quarter of what the men are getting every year and that's being maintained so I think there are definitely a lot of ladies in the game and enjoying the game. Well, well that's good news and is, are you getting many of the young, uh, young girls coming into the game now? Um, not as many as I'd like to see really. There, there are quite a few young girls in the game and we, because we have our own ladies junior county championship and our own uh, ladies junior merit. But um, there are not as many junior girls as I'd like to see. The junior boys far out from the junior girls. Um, and where, where do you see the ladies game going? Obviously as a development officer you, you'll have a few ideas about where you want to take it. But you know, where would you like to see it say, in five or six years time? Um, well ideally you'd like to see it as strong as the men's game is. You know, but uh, if I'm going to be realistic I don't think that's going to happen in the next few years. Um, I think the ladies game is getting stronger. I think there are lots of leagues now. There are many areas that only have men only leagues and separate ladies only leagues. And I think in a lot of the areas, they're, they're now having a lot of open leagues. 
so ladies are getting the opportunity to play against you know the top class men's bowlers and I think that only improves their game so I think the ladies game is improving yeah. I mean that's something that, that I actually would like to see more more integration into into the the men's game um, I think you know everyone should be playing everyone else and, and ultimately I'm sure you're you have the same opinion. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I find it um, a little bit disappointing sometimes when, when I hear ladies not wanting to play against men. Do you come across that a lot? No, I don't. I don't think I have. I think I think there are a certain pocket of ladies who do just want to play ladies only bowls. And my view is there should be a niche for everybody in the market. So. If some ladies only want to play ladies only bowls and then let there be a league for that to happen. But I think what I'd like to see is generally, you know, that they're open leagues and people play in the open leagues if they want to. Uh, if they want to have a men only league or an over 65s or whatever, then yeah, let's have it for the market, you know, as a, as a, a playing programme for those who want to play in just games like that. But yeah, like you, I'd like to just see it open bowls and everybody playing and everything. Really singing from the same inch. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Pat. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. Back to Mel. Well, I'm delighted now to be joined by one of the game's real characters, Keith Rudman. Well, we've seen you for many years on the Sky TV Bowls production, the Greenside interviewing people. Uh, but today we've twisted it on to come and join the commentary team for the uh, ladies world. Yeah, thanks, so, Mel. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Keith. Uh, yeah. you, you've been studying the ladies world, and you? Well, I mean, uh, I'm impressed with the standard of play, to be honest. I mean, there's some great play going on here. And, uh, you know, the misconception is that the ladies don't play. Is you've got to come along and watch this. Um, some of us play in the corners and keep the blocks again. No, two ways about that. They play well. Yeah, the green's excellent as well today, isn't it? Looks in good condition, looks like it's running a little bit, so that brings in, you know, a bit trickery with it because uh, this is not an easy green as you well know. And, you know, I think the, the people come here and if they play 25 yards at home all their life, they come here on a big green and so they start playing 35 and wonder why they don't play as well. So, yeah, that's right. so uh, yeah, the standard's good. Can't pick the winner, but. <laughs> I'm sure you might, when you, you do a bit of the commentating, yeah. you, might suddenly, yeah, you might suddenly have a tip yeah. in, amongst our as well. Yeah, um, now, how long have you been involved in the game, Keith? Well, I, start, I started playing bowls when I was 10 years old, I've been playing 37 years old. Yeah. Uh, some people say I'm over 16 year old, it's been every other since, so it's been a long way. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been involved in many, in many ways, um, both playing uh, and uh, organising. Competitions, I've done a few yeah, competitions, yeah. and uh, just recently I've been team manager for Central Lakes and Pennines in Parks, and we've been quite successful. We've won it three out of the last six years, and um, this has been my last season, so I've just stood down on that. But I enjoy the game, I love the game, I'm passionate about it. As a young kid, I remember watching it on the telly, and some of the great characters in the game, which I think are several lacking today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I love it, I love watching it. Even if, I'm one of these people that, even if I don't play, I can come and watch. A lot of people want to play. Yeah. I'm, I'm equally as happy coming watching these days. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And now also, we know in the past you've done a bit of after dinner speaking and telling a few jokes. I mean, yeah. impersonations, you're still doing that? Well, not as much as I did, but I do. Yeah, uh, I've been ribbed about that. Uh, that all started really once in uh, many years ago in the Isle of Man. I went to the Isle of Man there and got up on stage um, after, on the final night. And that sort of stuck from there, and then done quite a few after dinner speeches for bowling clubs, presentations, things like that. Uh, well, probably the most notable one would be uh, Bindenbergs uh, in Cheshire there when we were in the Super League on a regular occasion. Uh, the nursery in, done that a couple of times. And Low Hopton over in Yorkshire, you know, one of the Yorkshire champions. So, amongst that, yeah, done a bit, uh, some coming up in Portugal. Yeah, okay. Now, we've had Andy Cairns up earlier doing a bit of interviewing. I mean, can, what, what do you make of him? Can you, can you do any, t tell any stories in person about Andy? And, and Andy's a great guy. Uh, I played with Andy for many years at Walsden and at um, New Street in, in Littleborough there. We played together. But Cairns is one of these temperamental, would be the understatement of the year. I mean, uh, I was, he, he's one of the most loyal team men I've ever met. But earlier this year we played at Birkenhead in the park and I'm, I've got a team meeting and he didn't speak to me until after the match. He, he, he just doesn't speak. He just have to, he just into a silent routine and then if he wants to talk he's great. He just have to leave him. We have some great banter. Great, yeah, one of the great, great players, great lad. 
and does an awful lot for the games. Yeah, he does it. And of course, one of the greatest characters, one of your best mates, was the guy Freddie Hume. He died a couple of years ago, isn't it? You know. it, it? The word legend is thrown about in many things, but it's absolutely true with Freddie. He was an absolute legend in this game. And the first time I ever got involved with the TV was with Freddie. And what a character Freddie was. But, um, you know, he could play a bit. Um, but he was such, you knew he was here, he, he, he lit up the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's sadly, sadly missed by it. Not only his family, his close friends, but the game as a whole as well. Yeah, I mean, when he was here for the Waterloo finals, you knew he was on the television yeah. um, above everyone. I mean, he, he, was, he was a great character. Uh, well, he, what would he make of the ladies today, do you think? Oh, he'd, he'd have them sussed out, Freddie, you see. He'd be looking for the value. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie'd be there, and he'd find one. Now, whether the value would be the favourite or whether it'd be a 25 to 1 outsider that nobody knew about, but Freddie'd be on it. <laughs> It'd be like a stealth bomber coming under the radar, he had the value. Because <laughs> he once uttered the famous phrase, we're betters and we're bowlers. Yeah. And that's what Freddie was, and he'd, he'd, he'd love it. Yeah. But he, he could get excited about a league game on a Tuesday night in Altrincham, yeah. or he could hear the fouls in the water, yeah. he, was, he was great. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember one story, uh, he, he was there one final day, and uh, a paper cup blew onto the green, and Freddie run on pick it up, and I hope somebody shouted to Freddie, that's the only chance you'll ever get picking a cup up on the Waterloo. And I, I'll always remember that, and that was Freddie, and of course he had a, a quite a rude answer to it. Oh, he was. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to bleep it out. Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, my favourite story with Freddie was, and this is absolutely true, he actually played in the televised finals here at the Waterloo, when it was covered by the BBC. And it was in the days when Slazinger had the sweaters, and he had this bright yellow sweater on. And at the, back then I worked in a TV store in, in, in Tomberton. And we had all the TV switched to BBC Two. And when Freddie came on, I, I said to my boss at the time, I said, I know this guy. And he absolutely got bumped with Freddie. He got a mile behind, scrambled lots. Came to Blackpool that night. And, and I'm walking down the front and Freddie's there with a couple of his men. <laughs> and he's still got the yellow sweater on. And I said, and I said to Freddie, I said, Freddie, I said, uh, I've, I've seen you on the TV this morning. He said, Did you run us? <laughs> I, I, I said, I said, I've got 37 TVs in my shop. I said, I couldn't find your balls on any of them. <laughs> Yeah, to, which he, to which you couldn't repeat the reply, but that was Freddie, it was good. That was tremendous, yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Yeah. We're going to be uh, getting on now. The semi-finals are just about to start, so we'll, we'll be back in the comments room with the semi-finals in just one moment. Delighted to be here, thanks a lot. So the semi-finals are due to commence in a few moments. I'm joined now again by my co-commentator Keith Rudman. What do you think of the, the semi-final lineup, Keith? Well, it's a fascinating lineup, isn't it? Uh, you've got the uh, favourite from the start of the day and five-time champion Lynn playing uh, Julie Green, who, of course, we know comes from uh, um, Stan, Stan's daughter, of course, two-time winner himself, Stan. And then the other side of the draw, you've got Maureen Lyons, who might be wrong, but might have been the oldest player in the field. At the start of date, yeah, 71. Yeah, she is, I think, 71 and, year old. Uh, she's just played a marvellous quarter final, hasn't she, to get past Pat in the quarter finals. And then you've got somewhat of a, maybe an unknown quantity in this field, would be Lynn Rimmel, who I do know from uh, Whitworth in Rochdale, because that's where I play my bowls in Rochdale. So I think it brings all facets of the game together. You've got, you know, the firm favourite, somebody who's been there, Maureen won so many titles in the game over the years. And uh, I think we've got two cracking semi-finals lined up here. Yeah. As you say, you mentioned Maureen. She's uh, won a lot of doubles tournaments on here with, with Ronnie Lyon. Um, they've been a formidable partnership on this green. I haven't got a clue how many Waterloo pairs started. Well, they won the ladies, mm -hmm. but they won it again this year. So, Anyway, Keith, we'll look forward now to the semi-finals and we'll be back after this short break. So now we're about to commence the first semi-final of the ladies' Waterloo. Julie Green in peach-coloured shirt against Lynn Pritchett, the favourite, in purple shirt. The shirt's uh, kindly donated today by Thomas Taylor Bowles. Look very splendid, don't they, Keith? They certainly do. I think this could be a tactical battle here, you know, with the way Lynn's played all day in the corners. That, nothing's going to change that, is it? And uh, Julie's made a fair lead there, playing... Uh, down to this right hand side as we look. Well, Lynn first won it in 96. I've seen all five of her victories and they've all been won in the corners. It is her strength. But Julie's played very, very well all day and I'm sure Stan has um, advised her what she should play. Just a, just a 
just a query now whether uh, Lynn's ball's won that end. It certainly looks it from here. Yeah, the referee's signal that that ball's won it on the length. The referee is uh, Evelyn. I'm sure you've seen her before, um, Keith. Haven't yeah, you? I have. Yeah, many a time. Tremendous job. I think this needs to be up. This I think he's left this short. I'm disappointed with that. You see that sometimes, don't you? When you just stop, your momentum has to move on. And to turn the peg here, coming in the underside. It looks got another to me. This. Oh, great yeah. start. Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? You know, in the yeah. semi-final. Put your marker down at the first end. Yeah against the block and two good balls and I don't think there's any prizes for guessing where we're going from here. Mm. Although she does fibre the other two corners Lynn but uh, I think she'll just go as far as she can. Yeah, down into that far corner. Not an easy bit of land this down there. Uh, no, down Traditionally runs a little bit down to we'll Just have a look at the, the other two semi finalists they're about to, to start. We've got Lynn Rimmer there in the light blue, shall we call it? We had a little debate of what colour that was. Yeah, we? we were struggling with the colours there, but it's light blue against Maureen Lyons, who's in the, uh, the green shirt. It's Lynn Rimmer reading out. So we're back to uh, first game on. Lynn Pritchett, 2 0 up, it's at one end. As they started these uh, semi-finals, uh, uh, Lynn is four to six favourite to win the sweep, and Julie Green's at three to one. Yeah, well, Lynn was a very short price favourite at the start of the day, seven to four. But yeah, I guess having won it five times. Uh, I think there's a lot of people around this green saw that as a good value, Mel, yeah. at seven to four. And certainly, if you've took that seven to four, you'll think you've got a good price now with four to six in the semi. I think that's uh, given up there, and I think uh, Julie might be on here. I think the shades come on the green now, Keith, and yeah. it, it's always hard to judge it when you, you're leading from the, the sun into the shade. You can't always tell it's always harder as well when the shade's there and you're actually going downhill, it can be misleading, mm. you can yeah. overreach. And I think that's what Julie's what done there. Julie, yeah. Yeah. Should have made a double there. Those can be so vital if you don't make your pairs play somebody with the, uh, you know, the ability of Lynn there, because she's going to punish you for those later yeah. on. But she's on the scoreboard now, Julie, she'll be relieved with that to get on the board. She's got the jack back. And uh, she had a lot of playing over this middle earlier on, but she's not looking there. She's coming up to. Uh... She's played the middle really well yeah. in all, all of her games. And Lynn, to be fair, she hasn't had, she hasn't really been tested. Her three opponents so far, far in the have scored a total of 24 shots between them. Which means she's played with the bot most of the afternoon yeah. there, so she's dictated where she was going. Well, this is a good length ball here, that's not a bad lead at all from Julie there, that's that's a good ball on the mark. I think she'll be well pleased with that. Well, this is all about the length. If it's a length, I think it'll win it. I think if it's a length, it's won it. Oh, you see. Yeah, excellent ball. Oh, yeah. Now she's pushed this out big here at pace. Unless these are a lot stronger than Lynn's, I don't think this is going to come back from there. No. So you have to say there, we've only had three ends of this game, but what's been dictated here is Julie's made two good leads and not counted either of the leads with Lynn's first no. ball going in. No, this I looks a bit short. I've been a bit cautious with this one. Interesting Keith as well, these uh, shirts supplied by Thomas Tyler's balls. Yeah, they're very nice, aren't they? Really nice. Lynn's the only player who's not playing with Thomas Tyler Bowles in these semi-finals. So mm. They might take the shirt back off her if he wins it. I don't think so. <laughs> I wonder if they had a choice of colours, because uh, there's green shirts about and Julie's got peach. Yeah, you'd have thought that the planning would have been better for green, Julie Green in a green one. And then Lynn's heading off into that corner. It's favourite corner. Over to it's the, a favourite corner. Over to the toilet corner. She just strokes them out, so it's a super delivery, Lynn, it's a sweet yeah. as anything, and Julie's the same as well. She left this one a little bit short, which she did in the other corner, so giving Julie a chance to put her first ball in here, certainly on a tighter line. And she's played a good ball here. Yeah, that's a good reply, is that? Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Julie, the semi finalist, um, 2008. I'm sure oh. she'll be looking to go in uh, one step further. I won't bull Rob to there because that looked like it had a good chance. Now, can she capitalise and make two? So it looks like a good road. What about the length? She just overplayed that. Mm. Brings a good way short. Oh, it's on the one. Two, three. Gina leading out. Another game, Lynn, Lim, Lynn Rimmer started off very well. So three, three in, yeah, three one. Yeah, she could be the, uh, you know, on the betting, she was the outsider at five to one on the field. Uh, but Lynn played a good game, you know, beating Cathy Wilson, come from behind, all yeah, but 18 did. down. She she held the nerve and played uh, two great ends at the end there. Fantastic lead. So. Maureen Lyons is probably just a favourite in that game, uh, based she on is. green knowledge. Yeah. And she bounced back here with two though. Oh, uh, Julie's going to be disappointed with the lead here. Two or three yards short. Can't give her in that sort of no. run. No. She's Even uh, though this is labouring. Left it. It's only going to limp in. Just about. Nobody on yet, but they, they'll be in the eyesight coming out of there and they'll be conscious to try and avoid them. Just got to try and just give it a bit, extra bit of land, isn't she? Just to try and get around that. Oh, the pace is better. The pace is better. Past? Oh, that was the thing. Danger, so she's that was the problem. Promoted Lynn's ball up and, and give her a real chance mm. of getting another double in here. I don't think we'll see Lynn making that mistake. She's set this ball a lot wider. Because anywhere around this top side gets another, really. Yeah, she's got another. Turn more to Lynn. Yeah. Julie's led the jack out three times. and In fact, they both have been scoring against each other. No, yeah. But on the first two times Julie's led it out, she's played a good ball to be fair, yeah. and Lynn's uh, beat, beat a good ball, which is what the game's all about, isn't it? Well, she's going to try back in the shade again. I mean, you know Lynn's game better than me, Mel. Would there be, would there be a point where, you know, if she's not leading in these corners, she'd pull out and go over the middle, or would she persevere? No, oh, she would. I mean, she's plan A is the corners always, I, th I think, over recent years since she moved from Birmingham to... To, to play Judge more in Canuck. She um, plays now, she doesn't, this is the only ladies tournament she plays in. She plays in all open tournaments, top leagues in Staffordshire against the men, and um, a, a game is, is, is corner play. Yeah. And I think playing a lot of doubles with myself as well. The number there, it keeps yeah. falling off. Yeah, the numbers fell off. I don't think there's any doubt who she is. No. The crowd, no. Well, Julie, get inside that ball, she played a good ball again. Ian. Again, they're beating each other's yeah, leads. Yeah, they are. Every end. That's a good ball on the mark there. I've got to say, Lynn's corner play over recent years has really improved. It's a main, uh, a main armoury, that. I think playing with so me, in doubles, in doubles, do you lead or does Lynn lead? Generally, I lead, you know, and I like going to distance myself, so basically she has to follow, doesn't she? Yep, do she's told. <laughs> do she's told. Now then, can she make two? Well, she this is the third time she's had the opportunity to make two. On the other two occasions, she hasn't. I think she might have got it two here. That's a good ball, yes. Yeah, good ball. The applause ball. of the crowd tell you that's got yeah. another. Yeah, it's, it's a fascinating game. This four-five now. Who can make a lead and keep hold of the jack? Do you think Julie should throw, throw the jack off and let Lynn say this? Could do. <laughs> Seen that think, done. I think Julie must keep thinking. Now she's she's looking to think. Well, I'm playing better on a longer length. Mm. My best balls have been to Lynn's jack, going a further distance, and I think she's now in two minds where to go with this jack. Well, she is going a little bit further. Yes, she is. She's not playing short, is she? I wonder if this is Stan's tip. I don't know. I don't know where Stan is, actually. I can't see him around the green. I don't know if he's hiding yeah. at the back of the stand somewhere. Maybe tuning his nails somewhere. <laughs> this looks a good lead. Yeah, she's playing a great ball here. Yeah, real good lead, that. Yeah. Just if it sits down in front. Which it is doing. Yeah. Know that. Well, if this making the now. trip. Don't look now. It's a good reply. Super effort. Evelyn's just, just in, coming across. Just in there, yeah. Giving up.
It's not actually sent this, she's devouring. And if she can rest it. Oof. Well, it might be in a good position, though. No, I don't think Lynn will be short. I mean, she'll, Lynn will be out and rest the ball out. She's turned the peg here. I think she's turned the peg here to try and pop on that ball. Well, she's not a mile off. She's not a mile off. Oh! oh. Well, it's well, a tremendous good effort. effort. Good effort, but that's the first time I think in Mike Mel is that somebody's led the jack and kept yeah. it. First time they've held on to it for two ends, yeah. Yeah. And the score's five apiece. Oh, tremendous end. Well, if the bookies are having a wee think, huh? there's a whole difference in betting here at four to six and three to one. There we are on the scoreboard there. Five apiece. Lynn's mum, Irene, there. Marked every card all right, five each. Is that a superstition or does that just she wants to mark a card? No, I think nobody else will do it. All oh, right. And there we have uh, the other score, Lynn Rimmer, 4 3 in front of Maureen Lyons. Back to the game. A bit of a loose lead there, she's gone maybe five feet past. Well, this is equal distance short. I was talking to Lynn early and she said the greens has gone a little bit heavier as the day has gone Really? On. Yeah, just you wouldn't think that with the sunshine, no, though, maybe you? some. Uh, there's a bit of rain last night, and they probably just uh, gone in and that, just deadened yeah, it a little that bit. That ball will have won it there, but yeah. we, we think it's only one, we can't think that. Looking for that now then. She's certainly on a bit better land here, she's a little bit wider than she was with the last ball. If it's a length it wins it. It has. Yeah. It's been one of them games at the moment, Mel, where nobody's managed to keep the block above, obviously, duly two ends, where anybody can get any rhythm. Yeah. And stop start, hasn't it? No. Just mentioning the green, it's super condition, isn't it? It is. It looks fantastic. Yeah. I mean, there was reports earlier on in the year it was a little bit heavy, but uh, it looks in great, Nick. You can see the sign there, just uh, you know, Lawn Magic, Garden Wizard. Those are the people who've been uh, putting the feed on the green this year. And I know Jimmy Parker speaking to him has said that you know they've done a tremendous job, yeah. and you can see that for yourself. Yeah, credit to them. Yeah, it's in great, Nick. It's a good playing surface, isn't it? It is, yeah. It always comes good in the uh, end of the year, doesn't it, uh, the Waterloo, but this year it's been so consistent um, mm. since it's opened back in April. Well, um, again, Julie Lynn's left this one, yeah, sure. She's not got the lead going at all here. Julie's capitalised, she's gone in, played a good ball right on length. Right in this corner, I think a decent ball. where Lynn's put the jack there, it's, she actually wanted to go where the other end is. Yes. She plays it across there to the... Uh, the co op funeral care sign. Played a few dead ones over there, okay? Yeah. A few more, I think. Yeah. She played one here. Yeah. Good recovery, that. Yeah. This is a big end, this. Because uh, if Lynn counts this, she's going right into that corner, which will be the full trip. Oh, she's giving this a chance, but I think she's on the top side, starting to peg away. Yeah. Not going to have any effect on the right. end. Into Lynn. Lynn. Do we know oh, where we're going to be going 75. now. Yeah, it's a bit like that spot the ball competition, isn't it? Where, yeah. you, where would you put your cross? Somewhere near the white sign in the corner. Yeah, about 60 yards in that direction. What a busy corner, eh? Yeah. Very colourful as well. Bit of a falling mark, this, isn't it? Now she's looking for a good lead, Lynn, because by her own standards she's not been leading very well. This is certainly better. That's certainly better. That's a great lead. That's a good ball there. Just into the shade. Well, this is certainly on the road. Really just set it off just a fraction high. Yeah. That's a good effort, but it's not won it. First ball it's perfect, on. really. Lynn's first ball there. It's it's uh, adjacent to the jack there. Perfect length. And Julie's balls. Not a bad ball, really, over there. No, it's a good ball. They're going a long, long way. Yep. Okay. 
It's a push and they're going into the shade. Well, with the lens, she's there again. She's nearly beaten her first. Yeah. <coughs> Two good balls. I think the only reason Shant had the applause there is because she's the favourite. And as always in these occasions, the crowd root for the underdog. Yeah, of course they do. Well, she's given this a chance. Yeah. Well, she the applause it? tell you that's won it. That's all for me, yeah, but... <coughs> now signals from anyone? Yeah. Yes, one to Julie. That uh, was a good ball, that. That was, it. Uh, didn't look it from here, did it? No. That, that, that one, you thought that even though... Um, what a great ball. Yeah. So, uh, Six, seven. Yeah. Julie's uh, giving it a bit of thought where to go now. She's coming back up here. She played uh, she played a good ball up here before but didn't come. Yeah. Both semi finals, there's only one point in either of them. Right. Well, two quarter finals were trem tremendous ball then, weren't they? Two, uh, 21 <coughs> was. 20, 21 19. To be fair, it's been a great day's play, hasn't it? Yeah, it's done. You know, yeah. The standard's been excellent. Uh, the weather stayed night. I mean, travelling up, we went through some tremendous storms. It arrived in Blackpool and the sun's been out all day. Now then, what's happening yeah, there? Yeah, looks short to me. Just left it. Looks short. Although Julie, as they previously, she'll had a good ball over here and, and, and got it beat. Yeah. Probably thinking, well, is she, she going to keep beating them? Yeah, she's left that short there. In the way, no, Lynn's going to have to change the peg. She's I looking think. at this. Will she, will she strike at this? Well, she'll she just play, play probably play a yard of pace. The other, the other boy should be coming uh, finger peg at it. That's exactly what she's done. She's certainly no, reached. Oh, it took a bit of a bump there. Well, it's round no, about. It's only just going to get here. Oh, oh well. I well, think he'd have had a chance going in anyway, yeah, but that certainly helped very it. fortunate there. Just to come in, ended up a real good ball. A bit of luck, Linsa. Yeah. But now Always told me you make your own luck. Yeah, now for sure it is. No, okay. there isn't. On road and up, I think, is the same, isn't yeah. it? Now Lynn's having a bit of think what she's going to do. Which mm. corner to head into. Like I said to you earlier, I wonder if she'd pull out the corners, because she just hasn't really, apart from the end before, where she made a good lead and Julie beat it, she hasn't made a strong lead, but uh, yeah. she's going finger peg down to what we call the toilet corner. You need to have the jack in your hand for just two or three ends, yeah. Get the lane. Just get your rhythm going, settle the nerves. I can't think Lynn will have many nerves with winning it so many times, but yeah. still. She's played a length ball, this is the yard on the yeah. side. It's just gone underneath the jack and just drifted down, hasn't it? Julie's certainly on a better road here, but she's short. Yeah, it's well short. Well, passes that short ball there. It looks a good ball to me, this. Yeah, it's better. Smack on the road. Oh, good ball. And now Julie's own ball's in the way. Yes, Lynn only just managed to get past it herself. Yeah. And she mm. sent this one. Well, she looks short to me again. She's running after it, but it won't reach. No, it won't reach. Mm. Maybe <coughs> the little break there. Well, then there's a huge change now, isn't yeah. there? That little snick up here, yeah. where, uh, where Julie was uh, lying to go seven apiece. Two ends later, it's 10-6. Yeah. That's right. And this is the first time she's been on this mark, which you say is a favourite corner. It is, yeah, favourite corner. So what will she pay, finger peg She'll up be here or thumb? Finger peg, yeah, that's what she's done. Finger peg up here into yeah, this. and thumb back. What we call the shop corner. Yeah. Well, this is a reach, isn't it? It's uphill it is, all yeah. the way. This is a mark that was always favoured, really, by Brian Duncan. It was, yeah. Same peg. Yeah. Bear in mind, yeah, Brian's won the men's five times, Lynn's won the ladies five times. Well, this looks a good bolt. Nothing wrong with that for a lead. 
have to look a lot closer from down there from where Julie stood on the mat. Yeah. I mean, what are we coming, 60 yards in these corners, Mel? Oh, yeah, easily, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she's yeah, having a look trying, here. Trying she's having here. a look here. Well, what a good reply. Might just be too near us. I think the referee's going to be called in. Yeah, Lynn's just asking uh, Evelyn to yeah. come and have a look. It's a good, it's a good effort. Oh, it's won it. Won it. Good ball, Julie. It is, yeah. And the ball's on its way. The road looks good if it's getting here. The road looks good if it's getting here. It's short, it's tired. No, it's not made it. <coughs> That's a bad ball for Lynch. She's normally, uh, she always reaches the end. Yeah, and with having the back ball, you thought she'd been up there. She was she meant to be. Yeah, then, can Julie make it? Well, she's sent this one. She's reached this. This has certainly reached. Oh, don't do anything daft here. Don't do anything daft. Oh. Mm -hmm. or wherever Stan was, wherever yeah. Stan sat, I don't think that was in the script. I don't think. I think his blood pressure might have risen a few notches there. Well, it'd be relief she's got the block back now, uh, and it makes it seven ten. I wonder if Julie at some point will be thinking, do you know, I wonder if I should go back in this corner because I've counted a lot of chalks in the corners. Maybe. I don't think it's Julie's natural game. I mean, I've seen quite a lot of her um, this season and you know, she, she is a really, really good player. Which not natural game to go a long way. Yeah. She's heading over the middle to where they set off. Just a bit fast for me, this needs to steady up. Yeah. The yard yeah. It's not a bad ball. Probably looks nearer from the from the footer. Yeah. Is Lynn Bowles quite keen? Because there looks a little bit of difference. In. No, no, they're just uh, standard. Standard drag sprite, two ten balls. Yeah. Don't any balls too keen on the water loo. Generally, no. people say that. Oh, well, Julie doing this. She needs the jack. Again. She's there again. Oh, <coughs> Two good job. bowls. Yeah. Two good bowls. There you go. You hear a bit of a re applause ring out. They're all supporting the underdog. I just don't think there's anything against Lynn at all. It's just the crowd like to see the underdog win. Yeah, well, this is having a look. This. This is having a look. This. Oh no. What a good bowl. Yeah. Excellent. Now has she knocked the block too far? No. She's picked that up. It's one yeah. to Lynn. Good ball. Yeah, could have made the difference there, it would have been 9-10 instead yeah. it's 11-7. I think as we approach halfway here, which we have done at 11, you'd have to say that uh, on more than one occasion, Lynn has beaten Julie's good bulls. Yes. And that's what's the difference in the score. Again, the plan's still the A1 plan, which is going for the corners. Neither of them can just hang on to the jack. For no. Means they only two ends, that's it. This looks a good lead. This looks a very good lead, this. She's actually got the jack where she normally yeah. likes to play. Yeah, that's a good ball. Sort of actually aim for the apex of the yeah. corner. And again, from, from the foot of there, that's going to look very, very close, isn't it? Yeah. This looks good. underneath for me. Yeah, just back to the underneath. She's reached the end. Could be a vital end if yeah. Lynn was to get two, thirteen, seven, chasing the game a little bit. Not just as far as the first, but it's going to get another. She's thinking two. Two. Both in the way as well, really, aren't they? They are, yeah. Julie's just asking yeah. the referee how far off they are. I don't think she could come this top side, could she, in count? Possibly with a dead length. The balls do slip back a bit, but she's just. She's a trying to do that, but it's not sliding back, is it? No. Is yeah, it's safe one. Save one. Save one on the top side. And to Lynn. 12 7. It's like breaking the other game as well. Yes. Lynn Rimmer's moved yeah. uh, 10 7 in front. The outsider. A 5 to 1 in the semi finals, you were saying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's 5 to 1. But as we've already, as we've already mentioned, she played really well in the quarter final. 
I showed no sign of any nerves at all. Trying and having another go back up that corner again. Yeah, she's been doing here a few times and uh, yet to count. Not put her off. No. She's watching this one. Third looks good, if anything, else, it's just a far. And just, just gone a couple of yards and just follow Julie. Just on the top side. Yeah. Just won it, won it with a more or less a length. Another nice length took some out. The road looks good. It's not sure. Mm, can't you get inside of it? Not sure. Mm, may well have gone out, Keith. Yeah. Evelyn is always there. Yeah. She's having a look at the referee and she says it's won it. Yeah. She says Lynn's ball's won it now then. It's only different from our angle, isn't it? It is, yeah, it looks like Lynn has gone through here. Yeah. Now, Julie's up there again. Well, she could sit on this mech too, she's over the top. Yeah. We'll have to take the referee, she's nearer than we are. And the referee says Lynn's balls won it. Lynn's having a look. I'm sure Julie yeah. will have a look when well, she Lynn, gets there. Lynn signal, yeah. Julie really probably uh, disappointed not to count that end, really. Yeah. I mean, Lynn had gone through. Well, she's not given it yet, Julie. She's gone through probably two yards with a lead. Yeah. She's looking hard yeah, at it. She's, she's, she's having a measure. measure. And, and <coughs> I mean, we are some distance away, but from where we're sat here, You'd have to say you'd fancy Julie's bowl, but mm. the referee's over the top, Lynn's over the top, they're nearer than us. We know what they're doing. Mm. And they've said that Lynn's on with Eve the Lynn's a very good judge, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is, yeah. Refereed the men's final last yes, year. Yes, I was gonna say yeah. she, she does the men's final as well, so Once a lint. But like it was quite close. The angle could have been a little deceiving. Lynn's led another good ball there. Yeah, that's that's the yard on the side. It's a good ball again, the distance that they're covering. Then Bridget 13 7. You on the tannoy there? Lynn 13-7. Yeah, she's pulling away in the other semi-final. <coughs> Julie Short coming up into this corner. Yeah. I'm not to get that one out well. And uh, we missed the red bowl. Yeah, it's another one. Yeah, it's another good bowl. Nearer than the first. Nice little glide off her other. Yeah. Oh, Julie's launched this. Is that about... Uh, Oh, she, she's, not, she's not going to be short, is she? No, there's nothing to short, is there? Now, can he just peg up? Well, if it stops a length, it'll win it, but it's, uh, it's just gone by. I think it may have saved one. Yes, it, does, it has. Yeah, yeah Lynn signals that's only one. Good saver. 14 7. So, you think there's any chance, Mel, that in uh, doubles you're going to get one of these matching uh, lilac tops, purple? I could can, see you can, in one of them. Can you see me in lilac? Yeah, could, yeah. yeah I think you could. Is Wood, a nurse. Wouldn't go in my red hat, mate. Still got the red hat. I have a new one every year, yeah. Yeah. New one every year, yeah. I've just seen Duncan, the uh, the bookmaker, nipping into the bar. And he's, just, no, he's not running out the door, is he? No, I don't know whether he's to... If he's laid a lot of that 74, I might be running for cover. And drown his sorrows or yeah. what? It's 14-7 now. If he comes out with half a point instead of a point, you know he's getting beat. Yeah. And the game's just opened up, hasn't it? Lynn has just gone sailing through with that ball. Yeah. Well, we, just, we, we mentioned she that sent it off the green. That's yeah. Going into the shaded area. Yeah. She's uh, yeah, Julie needs a really good bowl here to put the 
put the pressure on and you can count in this end. Ian's first ball's disappeared out of view. I think it's down the uh, north pier somewhere. I think this is a good bowl of Julie's there. Yeah. She'll be pleased with that. Obviously, if you always want it a little bit closer, but it, uh, 14 7 should be open to count this end. No. no. Well, Lynn's on the road. It's all about the length, this. If it has a length, it wins it. It's just over the top at pace there. Has it gone out? Referee's having a look. She's just going to come on. Yeah, it's going to And Julie's got the news she wants. She's on. She's counting the end. I will say about Evelyn refereeing, she always seems to be in the right place, even with two games on the green. Yeah, she's not going to make a second one. Yeah. Well, she stopped the rot. 8.14. Dare she come back up here in front of the terracing? That's where this run started from. That's where from it her. started, yeah. yeah. Julie's lost the number now. The other game is Lynn Rimmer's uh, edging further away now, 13-7 yeah. up against Maureen Lyons. And she's laying one over there and going for two. Blocked right on the green edge. And she's played a real ball there as Lynn. What a good ball. So. Oh, Julie's trying this again. Back in the same place. Just come a little bit further down, hasn't she? More towards the, uh, the shop. As you were saying earlier, Keith, each time she's come over here, she's led really well. He was unfortunate uh, yeah. when uh, Lynn came, came in off a ball. Yeah. yeah, never came to the end. Again, if this runs a little bit more, it's a good ball. A good lead. She's a bit unlucky with that, you know. As you've just said there, every single time she's come over this side of the green, she's made a really good lead. Mm. Not and counted. Yet, yeah. And don't look now. Yeah. Well, don't breath, look now. Julie. Don't look now. Suck it back. Mm. Oh, so. just stopped. Plays on her own ball here, she can promote that. I'll just get by it for another. She needs to reach though. She needs to make sure she's reached. Run again. Run again. Yeah, it's it's got, got another. It. Got another. Good balls right in front. Difficult to get past those. Well, Lynn's going to try it. I thought she might have turned the bias and tried to promote her own ball. Well, but well she's into them. Can she get oh by dear. Him? Right. Could how well have won she, it. How far has she hit that? How far has she hit that? We're not looking. Could be two, could be one, could be one down. There's nobody signalling, is there? I've, nobody always said, I've always said to Lynn, just uh, be on land and up, and that's what she's done there. Yep. There wasn't really a shot on there because she had to no. get by those and play a dead yeah. ball to count really and, and uh, she could have easily hit that and gone the other way and left two. She may well have left two, but if she's counted the end, that would be slightly fortuitous to have counted that. But, uh, and if she has, Jill will be thinking, well, what have I got to do to count it? No, she isn't. Jill is on with one. to Jill it. Well, she's been trying to come over here. Do you think she's trying to go right down the middle? Is the, is the plan to come here she, and go the first time she's counted in this position, yeah. so I don't really know where she wants to go, but yeah, she's uh, well, heading across, <coughs> way across the green. To the Osprey sign. Yeah, the sponsors of these, uh, this presentation. Needs she's worked lead. hard to get into the position. She needs, piece, a, so good she needs a good lead. She's gone through. Just a bit of a run down there. On the top of the crown, you can see it going down. It's gone about maybe four feet past. This one's not so far. This one out on the length. Perfect length ball. The referee just gives her the bad news that she's not on. She took any out. Well, the road's good. Yeah. The road's perfect. Good ball. Yeah, to run it back. That's a good ball. Under pressure there. You need to find one. And Lynn just needs a slight adjustment on land. The length was perfect. She has done. If she has the same length with this, she's won it. There you go. Rested it again. Oh, good ball. Is that the yeah. third or fourth time she's it rested is. a bowl out? But not only that, 
every time she has done, she's gone on to get a two or three brake yeah. on the back of it. Yeah. And that's been the thing. Fifteen nine. Yeah. Lynn Rimmer's now seventeen eight in front. Maureen's just got back in though. She's having a big uh, sigh on the mat, Maureen. Wondering where to go. And Lynn's coming back down here again. She's no real reason to change this plan. She's 15 9 up and probably by her own admission not played the corners as well as, she, as we know she can. Yeah. But she's played some killer balls over that middle to, to uh, take Julie out. And I said she'd been slightly fortunate two or three times. She just rested balls out and came in off the one ball, didn't she? Old yeah. the middle. That was that, and, and then I think she had about a five or six break off that. Yeah. Which is where the, where we are today, where we are now at 15 now. This one's going to be short. I was talking to Chris Morgue um, the other day. I interviewed him for a preview program, and he was saying when when he won the Waterloo two years ago. Everything seemed to go right all day long for yes. him um, throughout, oh, and sometimes it builds your confidence. It does. You? I was here with that. That was on Sky. It was, yeah. it was on that one. He played marvellous all day, yeah. Chris. Yeah. One um, of those players that day, Chris. He's, he's, he's a top player in Yorkshire, mm. and uh, came to fruition at the top. Now then, this looks tight rain to me. He's got a peg round the corner. She was uh, trying to find a way past. May have saved. Lynn's having a look. Pick that one up. Actually, looking to see where that's going. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, nobody's put their hand up to claim one. Mm, going for pegs again. Must be closer than we thought, Kate. Yeah. The way all the other three balls had come up to that end there, it looked like there was nothing to be tight there, no. and it was pegging away, but it's, it's held on with being a perfect length. I'm not just sure who's on, but it's, it was indicated at all. She has a quick look at the scoreboard. That's won it, what a good it. Yeah, well, it would turn to be a good ball. Yeah. Now, 10 15. Yeah, then what's the plan now? What would you do, Keith? Well, I think I'd be tempted to, uh, some say it could be suicide, but she's, uh, she's played the long mark equally as well as uh, Lynn has. And she's going quite a length here. The only thing I would have said, if I was going to do something different, not one of them's played like 22, 23 yards. No. And uh, shorten it right down, because this length of mark, while you not, might not be going in the corners, is a length that I'm sure Lynn will be comfortable playing. Yeah. She's had one here. I thought Julie may have just perhaps gone along the edge or something, just trying yeah, that's just try and break the weight up a little bit. She she's might, left just, one. might just have in the back of her mind if she goes on the edge, she's going to be in the other corner. Mm. I'm just saying she's left one short there. Things just, she's just got by. Yeah, just past it. <coughs> There's still room. No, no, I've got to get past those balls. Those balls are a few feet short. Well, this can win it on the length. If it's a length. No, there's no response from the crowd or anything, Julie. No. Julie's Lynn's just Lynn's asked Julie look. to have a look. Yeah. I'm sure she will because... Uh, yeah, won it that, yeah. you said? Last ball. Lynn's changing the peg at this. Yeah. She's had to come in at it, finger boys. I suppose the aim would be Julie's lead ball that just peg inside, which is exactly what she's done. She's a length. Yeah. It's a good ball. That's a one. Excellent ball, That's, that's a better ball than what people sat behind will realise there, because that's not easy just changing your peg as well. No, that's right. And uh, she's got the length as well. Julie's just not been able to hold the block to, for a couple of ends. I think that's all she needs, really, isn't it? Jack a couple of M's. Yeah. 16, 10 to Lynn. Yeah. 
To be fair, Lynn has beaten Julie some good balls on, on Julie's lead. She has, that's probably yeah, just been the difference at the moment, isn't it? It has. <coughs> oh, she's just gone into the shade again now. Trying to get into her favourite corner. Oh, this looks a good lead. It's a good ball yeah, there, that. Good ball there. Perhaps pick that up on the Tannoy that Lynn Rimmer is now 19 9 in front of Maureen Lyons in the other semi final. It's duly done there. Just yeah, I've, I've had one eye on that. Drifted uh, out. Had one eye on that, really, Mel, and, and, and Lynn's played well. Just gone out for the evening. Yeah. I'm surely Julie stood there thinking nothing's going right for me in this game. Whenever I make a good lead, I don't count. And there might be more bad news here because this looks like it's coming from another if it runs. Perfect road. Yeah, not quite made it. Then slaps her thigh. Do you know she should have made another there? No. Julie must reach. She's everything in her favour. The block, Lynn's ball. Every chance of a connection and making two. Well, she's going to try and play a dead and She's going to try and play a dead and Yeah. Oh, good ball. A good ball, that is. Good ball. I think she needed that, didn't she? She did. She'd have been facing 17, 10 down, and Lynn leading back into the corners. Okay. What's the plan for Julie now? She's trying well, I think she's come over to this other Osprey sign now, over here. She has chopped it down now. Well, this this is what I was saying, really. I think she had to go really short or, yeah. or take the game right back long. and. If you about to your knowledge that, that that's not her style, then this is the way. This had yeah. to be something different and I think it's a good tactical switch. Still you've got to play a good ball and that's not that's not really near enough. Yeah. We're going what about 23 yards? And uh, unless she just catches Lynn washing one through, which I think she has. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the first well, little bit of luck that um Julie's out there. Yeah, I think we can uh, allow her that because she's had no luck at all. Nothing at all. No. No, I think well, I think Lynn would actually be going out if she'd have missed. Yes. Now yeah, can Julie get inside of that one? Oh. Yeah. Well, at least she's not it, but looked it wide. <coughs> Julie just uh, wipes the sweat off her brow there. It's out of relief, I think. Though. Yeah. I just looked at Stan's face. He turned his back for a moment, but he's back again now. Trying here. Oh, it's gone through the gap. It's gone through the gap. Look for all the world a winner that yeah. coming up there. It's done the gap. Is this a bit of a changing? Mm -hmm. Will this end be the changing uh, point of the game there? Because the first little bit of luck as, uh, as Julie's on 12-16. Yeah. So she's now going across to the uh, the north stand. It's a little bit further, Mark, than the last yeah. one. Still for 30 yards. She's just. Uh, She's just increased just, it a little bit, hasn't just, she? Yeah, just thumb bias, just pegging off the ground. It's normally quite quick down here, you can catch it, she's got herself going too far. She's just gone a yard too big. Yeah, it's not a bad lead. Yeah. Again, it probably looks closest from the footer. Yeah. Well, then I'll be looking through the end at it. And looks a good road. Smoked on a road, this, can't get off. That's a good ball. Yeah, good ball. It's yeah. On, the, on the side. Will she gamble? Will she play up? Will she just play that couple of feet it's over block a ball? It's a big target. It's just to play up a road. This could be a big ball. To this. make a double, perhaps. Yeah, she's thinking about what to do. Isn't she? Once I thought the strike was the ball, but no, she stuck. No, I don't know what to do. I'm not in the semi-final of Waterloo, but no. I didn't think that was the ball. No, I don't think uh, a father Stan would have played that shot. No, she had everything to gain. He just, just played a yard on, wasn't yeah. it? Low and Lynn chance for two here. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ooh, what's happening now? No. Oh. Dangerous shot. Yeah. Almost knocked the block through to Julie's back ball. That was actually the type of shot Julie should have been playing. Yes, exactly. Plus, I think I think the thing as well is that it was the end before where Julie came to them what was nearly the middle of the green, was very much a straight mark and that's gone back to a bit more peg yeah. there and I think a, a short mark. It's too as well. See, it's two good balls. Again, yeah. that lead wasn't a bad lead. No, not a bad lead. It wasn't a bad lead at all, but it just goes to show if you 
you only need to leave a little bit of room and Lynn's punished you. 18, 12, just there. Uh... Means you're three shots away from the Ladies Waterloo final. And again, she's going back. I think the other semi final might be up. Any at this end? Yeah, Lynn Rimmer is leading 20 10. And uh, Maureen has this ball to save game. And just go across and let's have a look at that. She's got to make some connection on the jack of ball. She's underneath, she's gone out. And well done, Lynn Rimmer. There we are. Keep the Rochdale flag flying. Yeah. She was an outsider all day. Yeah. Five to one in the semi-final. Yeah. I think we sort of indicated after a performance from all but 18 down in the quarter-final against Kathy Wilson. Um, she, is, uh, she was well up for the job there, and she's played well. Shaking hands there with Maureen. Maureen's done really well to get to the semi-finals. Yeah, she has. Yeah. She's played well. Now we'll go back to uh, to this game where we see Lynn Lane uh, one in front of the jack. We'll be about 18 inches short. Julie's balls at the back. There's not really a target. There's not really a target to play through actually to try and beat it. Oh, it's on the road, it just needs a length. It just needs a length, Mel this. Miss the front ball. Oh. Again. Just that was a perfect oh. shot, just no look at all. Of no. She's had one end with a bit of a one rub end, in this yeah. game, Julie. And you have to say I wouldn't say that uh, Lynn's had a lot of luck because she's made her own luck with playing up. Yeah. But, uh, it could have been such a different story. So it's 19 12 to Lynn Pritchett. And we've been on this mark before. Yeah. Fun peg. And there's uh, a bit of cloud cover now. Yeah, we should probably help the players. Well, we, we, we're not in the shaded area down there, which we've had on the previous few times yeah. we've gone down there. So that's uh, yeah, we'll be looking for a, a good lead. Last couple of times in that corner, the, she's gone sailing through. Yeah. Oh, she's <coughs> this watching this one, following this one. She's got a few balls to do. Yeah, she's, she's just uh, just pulled up short. Yeah, then. Julie needs to beat that one. Time's running out. She can't afford many more errors. She certainly reached. Certainly reached. Uh, yeah. A long way through that ball. Shirley will be lying two here. And uh, in prospect of game. That's another final. Yeah. Well, it's on the bottom side. Uh, Equidistant, you beat one, you beat them both. Well, she's <coughs> lying up, but. Uh, she's got to take a yard out, but she doesn't want to leave it short. They live and let live balls, aren't they? They are. I think this. I think she's just got to miss Lynn's ball here, and she wins it. Well, that's she. Still beat that one. I think that's one. I knew I'd been wrong before and I'd been stood up green. So, but uh, straight into the jet. Send the looks on. I'll look all around again. Measures. Nobody indicated, I'm sure if... Uh, yeah. I mean, he's a, you know, a very good judge, but... Uh, not just sure who called the measures She's then. not sure there. No. Yeah. Well, I felt that ball of Julius had won it. But, uh, I'm wrong again. I want to lean. 2012. Yeah. Just one roll more and it would have gone in. Yeah. I think Julie there really needed to punish the first ball, didn't she? Yes, she, she did. Sailing through, just put a bit of pressure on me. Oops, sorry. That was uh, that was a loose end really by Lynn, and she's got away with it and counted one. Yeah. Well, no, Julie can't afford one more mistake. As it's 2012, and uh, Lynn's leading out. This is where you say she wants to put the jack, really, Mel. Uh, yeah, she put it there. You know, perhaps just a yard further on. Probably where she put the ball there, a yard further on. Yeah. Giving Julie a chance. Possibly the last chance, really. Yeah, needs to hurry up this. Needs to hurry up and go yeah, a bit further for me because uh, it's it's labouring, it's going to limp in. Yeah, it's counting, but it sh shouldn't really count. Well, 
Well, will it run? Will it run? Yeah, it's just, just got it. Just crept in. Well, this this looks the winner to me. Well, it needs to run to save. Yeah, this and looks the winner. Yeah. Yeah, really good ball. good ball. Good pressure ball, game on. Yeah, she, like I said, she couldn't afford another error. And she's, uh, now she can do what she wants now because she's absolutely uh, nothing to lose now because Lynn won't be sending the block again. No. 2013. Just be thinking, where would Stan go for me? That still goes mm -hmm. short where she came to the end now, and I've learned she keeps playing she two balls looking, over looking over here, maybe she might just come along the front of the. This edge of the green. It's a little shorter than she has done, I think. Yeah, she has done, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good tactic. <coughs> last time she probably played... going about 25 yards, aren't Yes. We? Last time she played this length of mark, but she's not going to get away with leading no, like that. For the lead, yeah. Yeah. There's no pressure on uh, Lynn's first bowl here, you know. No. Last time she played this length of mark, she had Lynn overreaching. But to be fair, she has done again. Only fraction. Yeah. It's a good ball, really. In game that. again. She pulled one out with the last ball. Can she do it again? Certainly further. Certainly further. Giving it a chance. Giving it a chance. I think it's gone out. I just think that's probably just gone out. I think it's gone out. It has. It has. That yeah. signal tells you that Lynn well, there are Lynn's has there. Now another final. Yet another Waterloo ladies final. Lynn Pritchard looking for a, a six Waterloo ladies title. Lynn Pritchard, now we're facing Lynn Rimmer in the final. Two Lynns. Two Lynns in the final. Yeah. So we're back with the final after this short break. Now we've reached the final of the 2010 Ladies Waterloo, Lynn Pritchard from Chargemore in Staffordshire versus Lynn Rimmer from Whitworth. So, how do you see this game going, Keith? Well, um, I just went to have a little word with the bookies, see what they were doing, and uh, no surprise to know that uh, Lynn Pritchard is 2 to 7 favourite with the bookies. So, for those of you that are not familiar with betting, that's you put £7 on to win two. Whereas if you think Lynn Rimmer from Whitworth Football and Cricket Club in Rochdale, which I know very well as I work in Rochdale and play my league balls in Rochdale, I know the green that Lynn plays at, but, uh, not an easy green, you can get two to one. It wasn't a big cue on either, you're not going to get rich back in at two to seven. Yeah. But uh, that's seven to four at the start of day's play, which looked uh, a big price. I think there's quite a, sh a few shrewd punters took that seven to four. She was a strong favourite, obviously, and, you know, having won it five times, as well as to be expected. So, anyway, uh, Lynn Pritchard uh, might get confused here with two Lins in the final. Yeah, Lynn wins. Lynn wins, yeah. Well, the, the bookmaker's still got a full pint, so he's not no. feeling the pinch. You know what we're saying here. It's just short for me. Yeah, so, perfect star for yeah. Lynn Pritchard. Again Lynn in if... purple. I don't know what colour we're going to call Lynn Rimmer. Well, I've, I've had the official thing from the ladies from Taylor's, that is lilac. That is lilac. the official colour is lilac. So it's lilac and purple. Yeah, and we've ordered one for you. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, now, the other colour, I'm, I'm saying that's like a turquoise type colour. Okay. I'll take your word for it, I haven't got a clue. Not that many authority on colours. Yeah. Some people say I get dressed in the dark, so... Yeah. <laughs> now, you then. won't be seeing me in lilac. I'm going to have a word with Lynn until to get you one. Yeah, no chance. So well, do you want to play with it? <laughs> no, I wouldn't be good enough. I think lilac will suit you. I've got a purple shirt at home. Have you? Not that, not that shade. Back to the game, we don't want to talk about my yeah. dress sense. Yeah. Well, or lack of it. Yes. You have to say that's a better lead than I think she made in any of the corner in the semi-final. It does, yeah. It's a big occasion for Lynn Rimmer, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm just, uh, just going to say that, really. You know, she's... Uh, She's um, she's been runner up at Prestatin. She's a winner at Prestatin, so she has won. She's not she's not she's not unfamiliar to being in the uh, winners' enclosure, but this is probably 
bigger than anything she's played in before. And, uh, it is. It, this is. Uh, I think it's the first time she's actually appeared in the final day. Yeah. The ladies' Waterloo, so you know she's done really, and, really uh, well. She gets all through to the final and she plays the uh, five-time champion. Just the thing, as as Lynn Pitcher, we're going to get mixed up with the Lynns here. Yeah. Has she lost in the final at, at the Waterloo? She has. Two years ago, she lost in the final to uh, Nicola Bolton. Yeah. A uh, tremendous game that was. She's lost, I think, 21-19. She's flown out the traps here. Yeah. It's 4, four nil. And uh, I have to say that that lead and, and follow up ball in that corner is a bit ominous. Yeah, Lynn Rimmer's really not, not played a ball just at the moment. Interesting to see. Uh, Lynn Rimmer's a very keen co poker player. I wonder if she's had a bet. Yeah. This will be a different game of poker than she's been used to. The odds are heavily stacked against her here. And. Uh, this would be some victory to pull this out. But, uh, what she's got to do is uh, not get caught up in the moment and concentrate playing, on the yeah. fact that uh, Lynn's 4 0 up and leading back into the She's corner. played really well, hasn't she, Lynn Rimmer, all she day? Has. You know. There she is, 57 year old uh, finance manager. What's surprising is she's. She's put that she, you know she doesn't play county ball, so this is a huge achievement, really. It is, yeah. Now whether it's that's because she's not been picked or she doesn't want to play, we don't know. But uh, she's actually a regular player around the Rochdale area. I have to tell you, this is a good bowl. This is a good bowl. Oh, that's there. a great bowl. That's a great bowl. That will settle the nerves. Uh, I was just going to tell you that the green that she plays at at uh, Whitworth Football and Cricket. It's a big green, it's not a small green, it's very fast in one corner, huge push into the other one, so yeah, can she connect, she do. goes out missing. Yeah, out. Yeah, that chance to make a well, double here, she's just got to be careful she doesn't hit uh, Lynn Pritchett's uh, ball up there, only need to out in her foot. Yeah, not going to be doing any of that, no, she's saying underneath, does she want it to go underneath because she thinks he's on the wrong line? Well has she got a length? Well if she has a length she nearly chance of getting another here. Yeah, she oh, has. I think that's got another. Yeah, Lynn oh, concedes the end too. That's going to so, give us some confidence yeah, that's, now. That's uh, on the scoreboard, <coughs> Jackie Nan. I think uh, from what we saw in the semi-final, she played it for, for, from here, little round peg marks. Uh, again, didn't go very far. Yeah, she had a very short mark. <coughs> She's not um, you know, Lynn Pritchard's natural game. She's looking at. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She's gone yeah, a bit further than I might have thought to start with. If uh, if Len Rimmer can uh, relax the nerves, because it's a huge occasion, this. I mean, this is the. Let's not make any bones about it. This is the ladies' tournament in Crown Green Bowls. And uh, here she sell, finds herself in the final. If she can just relax the nerves a bit and play her own game, she's played very well all day. Yeah, she's going to have to lead a little bit closer than that. Yeah, we saw from the semi-final with Julie Green, if you leave that sort of space, then Pritchard's going to pounce on it and make you suffer. Yeah. And she has. Yeah, can she get past? Mm, yes. Yeah, it's a good ball, good imp. Just stayed in at the back, hasn't it? It does, yeah. Good improvement there, just line one. Uh, and Pritchett can... Uh, just got to play on her arm ball, really. Just needs promoting, maybe uh, six inch. Oh, she's giving she's it a not chance. Sure. She's giving it a chance. She can't just sit on this back one. Oh! Well, then who's in? Just pegged up, didn't it, at the end? Who's in? There's no signs from anybody. Oh yes, won it. Won it. Won it without any hesitation. 5-2. Lynn Pritchard in lilac. Lilac. That's the official right. colour. Going for a sixth Waterloo title. Yeah, won his first, 1996. And she was just uh, 
It's a good lead. Good lead again. And Lynn Rimmer needs to get in straight away. And just, I mean, she cut the green in half to keep Lynn out the corners. Yeah. And, uh, she's trying to yeah. scan it. Pick it up. A yeah, ball. great ball. Would have got a little pass, but that's irrelevant. She's caught the jack. She's played very well all day. I mean, yes, she, she has. She's beaten very good players. I'm sure there was nerves at the first couple of ends there with... Oh yeah. yeah. Can this reach? Can it reach? Yeah. Now again, can she make... Can she make a double? She's back in it if she gets another. It's on its way. It's only half to it. She's got a spring in a step when she'd sent it. Can she miss one spot no, roll it? Oh, short. Just cut the land a little bit there. Yeah. Having said that, it's come on this bottom side. You're having a look whether it's made one, it you wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. Two. Two, well that's uh, good ball again, that's gonna give her confidence. Yeah. It? Four five. Well if you go back she was four nil down and Lynn had made a good lead in the corners, so she's back in this. She's been sort of the outside all the way through. I looked to, I was down at the bookies in the last sixteen, Lynn Rimmer was twenty-five to one then. Yeah, pound or two on there be very nice. We're speaking to uh, Lynn's doubles partner, <coughs> Joanne, who's here, and I said I'd had a little interest and she said no. So uh, she might be kicking herself now because uh, yeah. she would have been a big price at the start of the day. Need to collect the jack here. Well, just, I just think, through a little bit. I think that's leaving Lynn too much room. If you're going to be a yard off like that, you're going to be a yard off in front, wouldn't you, Keith? You would. She's a, a, a bit of nuisance value. Just goes up and over that. Ooh. Stop quick. Right in the way. I mean, Lynn Rimmer's asking. It's right on the road, and she's, yeah. she's, she's, she's in. I think she might have to go the other bias. Going back to what you said, it, when you think it'd be speeding up a little bit, that ball looked to stop very quickly there, going down oh. what is a little bit of a down slope. And the sun's gone off it, hasn't it? It has. The referee has indicated that Lynn Rimmer is in, but is she going to change the bias here? Because it looks right on the road. Oh. Can she get past? If she has changed it, she's played it. Uh... Yeah, she's played the same line. No, we have to assume that that's two then if the first one's in. Yeah. Now then. It's the miss her own. She has done all the winners. Yeah. All the winners. You can't give her that much room. Uh, have a little look. If she never looks here, it's two or not. Who called for the tapes? Well, who called for the tapes? They're not quite sure. Right? Think, Lynn was. Uh, Lynn Pritchard is still walking across the green. Then Rimmer must have called them, or the referees call them, because uh, I don't quite understand that. No. But it's only one. No, just one. There's Lynn. She'll be looking to lead back out. I think she'll go, uh, she's having a look at which corner she's fancying here. Well, let's come back to this corner where she, had, she did have a lot of success in the semi-final in this she corner. She did, yeah. There she is, Lynn. Going into what we would call the pub corner. Lynn, who's the uh, Associate Director at Birmingham Metropolitan College. She'll be a bit disappointed it's with that lead. It's a fraction short, really, isn't it? It's like a yard short of being a good one. No. This is a better line, this, and it looks it a better is. weight. And Lynn Rimmer's following this one yeah. up. She's urging it yeah, on. She likes that. Yeah, good ball. You can tell with Lynn Rimmer, she's a bit of a spring and a step when she thinks yeah. she's played one. She thinks... yeah, There's room she... here. There's room here for Lynn to, to bounce back. She's certainly a better role now. 
Can she miss that short ball? Can she miss it? Oh! And now in the semi-final against Eula Green, she was uh, she was coming off that type of ball. She, she was. Didn't? She was. No. Big chance yeah. from Lynn to make two and level the score at six apiece here. Yeah, she's following this very quickly. Yeah. She's got that little spring in the step when yeah. she thinks she's played she's one. Made another. She likes this. Good ball. Yeah, two it is. And there we have, she's made um, three twos now. Six across in the final. She doesn't seem one bit overawed no. by the occasion. Three good twos she's got. I think just the first yeah. two ends, she was 4 0 down. <coughs> just a little bit of nerves. It's, once she's got on the scoreboard, she's uh, played really well. Now she's coming really short, yeah. playing along the front of the terrace. This is a similar mark we saw Julie Green yep. attempt to play at the end of the semi-final. Six across. Still on the tunnel, six across. Good lead. And a good lead there. I have to say that uh, the green in Whitworth that she plays is quite a fast green. Um, you say it's a big green as well? It's quite a big green as well. So, uh, <coughs> a bit of something on it for everybody. You can go a distance if you want to go a distance. Then she, uh, That's she just... Uh, that just didn't peg in as much as you thought it would have done, where the, the balls have gone. And I'm not just sure whether that, the referee's having a look. We have to say she's been spot on with all the judgment so far. A stream of paper just come onto the green. Yeah. Can't tell. Oh, she's just tipping that ball. Yeah, she just, uh, she just reckons that um, you know, Pritchett is in. Yeah. Second ball's on the way. Yeah. That's a good line, this. And he's just a touch it. It's a good line. Oh, it's gone through. Now then, has that changed anything? A collision with her own uh, ball at the back. That was a good effort. If anything that matter yeah. yeah still so, one. Just gotta be careful she doesn't have a play with the second ball now. Maybe keep it on the top side. There's not a lot of danger. Well the line looks good if it runs. The line looks good. Best run of a lot, I think. But that's given up. The green I think just has died a little bit, Keith, into the sun's yeah. been going off it now for the last hour. You picked up on that earlier, yeah. uh, Mel, where it uh, <coughs> the early part of the semi-finals we were playing in sunshine and, sunshine and shade and now we're, uh, it's a bit late evening here in Blackpool. Yeah. She's, uh, she's heading off down there. And she's going a long way this time. Right, right deep into the corner. Well, it's got to peg a bit. But the length's not bad. Length, yeah. yeah. Just a yard on the side. We could yeah. settle for that one, Keith, wouldn't we, you? I'd be happy with that. If this runs, though, it'll win if it's a better road. Yeah, I, think that's gone, trip? I think that's gone in, but the referee's not said anything and nobody's asked. This needs to run. This is on a dream road if it runs. It's a dream road and it's given up. No then, one room of ask. Nobody's asked at all yet. And she's not asked either. So she knows something we don't. She must surely think her ball's off. And she's playing for two. She's got that spring in her step again. You can soon tell when she's played a good one. She thinks she has. Just overreached. Oh. Do we read anything to that note? Yeah, one for Lynn Rimmer, yeah. Oh, well, she's confident there. All square again. Yeah, things have settled down from that early first couple of ends at 4-0. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Lynn Pritchard has actually sent the jacket out more often than Lynn Rimmer. Lynn's had three twos and a one. Mm. They say twos wins match games, don't they, Keith? You say so. Lucky twos. This is a... You can tell that uh, Lynn Rimmer, who was obviously the underdog, as we said, as I said with, the, with the bookies, showing no uh, nerves at all now. What a fantastic lead that is. That's a Super Bowl. I'm sure they used to clap for them once here. Yeah. 
But what I was also meaning was that she's led back down there that, you know, if she didn't count this end, she'd be back in the corner. But with leads like that, you're not going to be worried about where anybody yeah. else is going. She seems to be playing with confidence. This seems to be her length of mark, doesn't it? She seems comfortable with this length of mark. It is. She did the same in <coughs> the final against yeah. Maureen Lyons. And to be honest, she's playing it well. I mean, that's a good ball as well. It's counting, it's round the back if Lynn plays through, which I'm sure she won't be short. She might just ball to save though, won't she? Might ball to save. It's too big if it misses. Yeah. Mm. Well, a another another back. two. Yeah, that's four twos she's four had. Four twos, yeah. You know, Lynn Pritch is gonna be disappointed, you know, giving so many twos away. That was all shown there, really, with the, with the quality of the lead. Yeah. Look, you can tell her confidence is up, because she's... Is she looking to go back down that edge? Well, she played Maureen just across... Where she's going now, the, across yeah, the green, isn't she? At one point there, I thought she was looking at the corner on the uh, what I call the Gary Ellis mark up in that top yeah. edge. Again, same sort of length. She just overreached this. She just overreached it. Yeah. I think she's given us too much room here. Definitely. Played a good ball here. On the side. Yeah, can she improve? Something about Valio, please. Not Valio now. Well, what she's saying is she needs to rest on something. Ooh. And she has. I think that's one. Put on the jack. May have gone out. Yeah. Oh, I think it would have left. Yeah. Left it without. But I think that's won it. There they. There they. What's she got here? The road looks good. And can she rest on it? Oh, good ball. Yeah, good ball That's yeah. a good ball, that. <coughs> so it's... 8-9. Uh, 8-9. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Is that the first time uh, Lynn's been behind, really, today? It is, yeah. Uh, said in the first three games today, she had a total of 24 shots scored against her. I don't recall her going behind with Julie Green in the centre. No, she didn't. So, uh, uh, in, in all five games, she's counted the first end. Has she? Yeah. Which is always, always important, isn't it, to stamp your authority yeah. on a game. Uh, she's coming back. This is, she played this pretty clear mark here, over to the, uh, the golf funeral care sign. This is Mark, you're playing doubles up to here. We have, we, in fact, last year we won the Waterloo mixed pairs, and this is the mark we played. This looks a good lead. Well, Should was, just peg a bit here, should leading length. into it. Should peg a bit yeah. more. It's a mark where you, if you get too low, they just drift away. You get I'm going say high, that didn't look like it did as much as the block there. That no. looked like it was coming to be a, a real good It's not a bad ball there. No. But, uh, no. This looks yeah. like it's reached. Looking just underneath. Unless it rests it. Oh! There they are. Nobody's asking. It's interesting in Lynn Rimmer now. It's, um, I think three ends, she's sort of rested on the ball. Just a slight difference in rubber the green than what we saw in the semi final. Yeah, with, 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 yeah Lynn uh, Pritchard, you know, Pritchard all the, the, the few rubs there were she had there. Yeah, then. That's a bit of asking. Yeah. She's played that short, she didn't ask who was on. A sneaky feeling here, Lynn Rimmer's on. And Lynn Rimmer yeah. is on. Yeah, Referee's pointed to it. <laughs> and uh, Lynn Pritchard confirmed it. Yeah. Now can she make another two? I don't think she's reached. I don't think she's sent it. No. No, well short. One on the block. Yeah, one on the block. It's the first time she's failed to make a two. Yeah. But she goes 10 8 in front. Yeah, yeah. And after two ends, I didn't think that would be the score. At yeah. uh, 4 0. Damn, she's gone 10 in front. I think it's uh, the first two ends was just perhaps just a little bit of nerves, biggest occasion she'd ever been in. But she's certainly settled down and you can tell by her mannerisms on the green she's she's not gonna uh, she's not gonna lie down easily, is she? No. 
<coughs> I think she's enjoying it now. Yeah. I think she's relishing it. I think she's bringing a step when she plays a goodie. I think in these occasions, sometimes you know you, you get to a final of a major in, but event such as this, and you have to make the most of it. You never know if it's the only time, and you're going to get there, are you, Keith? Yeah. You know? Well, this pegs a little bit. It's a good bowl. It's one of them forcing marks. This isn't it. You can easily yeah. be to foul or drop. But yeah, what's them got here? On the tight side, I don't know about the ball. Oh, good ball. Oh, what a quality reply that was. Yeah, can the living room have an answer? She's coming up with the same bias. Well, she give it a chance. Well, well <laughs> good effort. It's good effort, but I think she's given one chance to get two in here. And we store the scores level. Mm. And she sent this one. She looks a bit big. Just hung out, hasn't it? Yeah, it looks to have. It's a little bit wide. One on the block, no. It's been ten. slightly the difference in the game, actually. Lynn Rimmer's, Lynn Rimmer has made a, a lot of doubles, and Lynn Pritchard's have been uh, singles mainly, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I would suspect she's going to head to the down toilet the toilet corner. corner. She hasn't ventured that way yet. She's looking at that, I think you're right. Yes, absolutely right, Bill. <laughs> Nine, ten. She needs a good lead. Studying it well on the map. Yeah. Well, didn't look too bad for me. That's a good ball. Yeah, good it's a good one. Yeah. So Lynn, Rimmer, Lynn Rimmer's bowls on its way. It certainly looks to have reached. It's the yard to big. Looking to follow up that good lead. Well, looks a good one to me. Looks a good one to me. Oh, it is. Quality ball. And can Lynn Rimmer just take that yard out? Oh, she's oh. watching this. She's watching it. Oof. Oh, she's at after block, but I don't think she made she any needed difference. it full, it's didn't she? still it? two. Yeah, two to Lynn Pritchett. And Lynn goes back in. She's in the lead, 11 10. I think we know where we're coming now. Yeah. <coughs> she hasn't really gone a full length into the corners no. in the game. She's Each time she's come from sort of the middle of the green into the corner. I think we'll be right. Apart from the first two ends where she kept the block for two ends, that might be the first time she's kept the block. It is, yeah. For a couple of ends. Yeah. And uh, certainly she could keep the block another couple of ends. This, uh, this uh, final could change dramatically on this mark up and down here. Now this is going uh, thumb peg, I think. Are we yeah, it's going another peg, yeah. Perhaps not quite as far as I thought you might have sent it. But this is very, very much the uh, Brian Duncan mark. It is, yeah. She would have normally sent it a little bit further. I think that's partly to do with the side of the greens just dying a little bit. Yeah. Well, the further it runs and the better it is. The further it runs. The road was perfect. It is just uh, four or five feet short of a length. Right. Well, this Rimmer's, is not short. Uh, certainly reached. This is not short. Needs to pass the ball, the short one. If we collect the jack, it has done no, a really good ball. Shot. That's a big ball. Yeah, she's playing really well, isn't she? she? Is. For, a, for a first major final. I think she's warmed into this final, I think, mm. you know, she's settled down, she's counted some good balls, she's played some good balls and she's she's fancying this job now. She is now. She's thinking, I can win this. She can get uh, another two in. Well, she's well, making the trip for this one. She's got to pass that short bowl, she's got to pass that. Well, I think it's just died. I think it's only one. I think 
it's just maybe a foot short of counting another yeah, it is only just, one just signal one <coughs> it's 11 all all squared again yep She's just gonna trying go. to think where she's going to go now. She played over the middle, didn't she? Yeah. Last time out of this corner. Um, and she's heading towards that sort of mark again. Yeah. <coughs> just up and over the crown. And just sent it as far as she did before. I think she's trying to break uh, and pitch its length up here, isn't she? That's not a bad lead. Yeah, That's not a bad are. lead at all, that. Yeah. Well, this just needs a length to be a real one. Oh, what a good oh, ball. What a good, ball. What a good ball. Gonna play the same ball as the first here. And any touch on the jack of the ball, she could have two. Yeah, it's just lying on the side. Uh, and then Bridget would have preferred it in front. But she doesn't need to hold too much, she's off to it yeah. again. We've seen this we've seen this movement what before, she effort. likes it. Oh. oh I think she's counting now. I think she's not that she out. Actually could have yeah, made she's, two. She's put her hand up for one. She hasn't got to the head yet, so the referee's having a look at them all, but Lynn Rim was signal one. Yeah. Now, do you assume that that's the ball at the back of the jack? Yes, the referee just confirmed that. Oh, I'm impressed with Lynn Rimmer as well. Uh, some ladies I've seen a lot are very hesitant in saying who's in or not, <coughs> and she uh, immediately said it's one. I think what's good to watch is you can see her body language when she's mm. played well, yeah. like she's after it, she's confident yeah. out of the traps. Now, what about this for a reply? What about this for a reply? Well, well, no, far she's, uh, give us a clue. <laughs> Referee's call for the measures. The referee's call for the measures. Well, you'd have to say she deserved one for that. She's played two perfect balls on the jacket. Well, a tremendous end, uh, Keith. It is. Um, we can't weigh up anything there from the two players. They both uh, they both walked away from the end. That's right, they've done like the referees and the measures Get on with do it. it. And uh, nobody's really signaled there. So it must be close. As you say, Mel, four great balls really there. Yeah. That That's the best end of the game. Mm. Yeah. yeah, short balls on. And yeah. Pritchett one. On to Pritchett, 12-11. I have to say that was that was uh, a great ball from Lynn Pritchett there yeah. because she played a good ball. She'd seen it knocked out. Mm. She was down against her, and that's the sign of a champion, isn't it? Feeding good balls and producing the right ball at the yeah. right time. Down a slightly different place, you're setting the mark. Again, looking for the longer length. Well, length wanted. Length wanted, because I think this is a real road. Good ball. It is, yeah. Just drifted a little bit by yeah, there. Just run further than I thought. Yeah. What's that end done to Lynn Rimmer there? Seeing two good balls beaten. Well, I think she's replied here. I think she's on, just on the tight Is side it? there. It's just pulled up short. Yeah, just, just file. No comment from the ref. Uh, Lynn Pritchett's just asking yeah, if it's won it. Yeah, she's just inquiring, you know. Yeah. She's saying, well, the news she's got is that she's on. A couple of feet past the jack. And, uh, well, the line looks good again here, you know. And she's taken a little bit out, she's played a good ball here. Yes. Took that little bit out, that couple of feet out from the first ball there. And she lies two. What's when Rumor got to respond? The ball looks to be going tight again to me here. Yeah, it's tight, it's short. It's short. Mm. Yeah. Is she just thinking two. about that last end? Yeah. Like she saw two great balls beaten and then the one down. So that's 14 11 to Pritchett. That's the. Uh, Probably the biggest distance between the two in the game, Keith. Yeah. 
and Lynn's where, she, where very, she wants to go. That's very reminiscent of the semi-final really, to be honest, where, where Julie Green would lay a good ball and Lynn would come and beat it and then punish her at the next end. Mm. And the same thing which happened again here. Yeah. And we're off into this familiar mark here, playing fun peg. <laughs> Quite a distance here. Mm -hmm. And she's on, for me, what would be the right side of the jet. She likes it, Lynn's back a following this one up. You see her just yeah. urging it on, walking after the it's ball. It's a good ball, it's a good lead. Yeah. Dead length, probably going something like 50, 55 yards down there. Yeah, easily, yeah. And uh, she's made a good lead. This looks to be a long time on the road to me. It needs to be up. Yeah. Reach up, Linda, shouting yeah. to Linda. Come on, Linda, remember, don't you? have played really well up to halfway here, don't let it slip now. Uh, she's just underneath, but that might be to avoid that bowl in the way there. It's going to get another on the length. It's two perfect length bowls. What can Linda remember do now? Certainly, she needs to reach. Yeah. Not running after this like she has in the past, but for me, it's a good roll. Yeah, it's got to have a chance now. It's got to have a chance. Oh. Good effort. Save one. Certainly, save one. But the gap's back to four, as it was after two ends. 15 11. The green certainly seems to have died, hasn't it, in the last hour since the sun's gone off it? It has. And back into the corner. As you rightly predicted, to this uh, left hand side of the corner as they're coming into it. Mm -hmm. From where, where they are. Now, this looks nicely paced. This looks a good ball. Oh, it is a good ball. Yeah. It's the sort of ball you want to be leading at 15 11 in the final, but 18 in short, right in the corner. I wouldn't mind leading like that any time, oh, wow. oh, yeah. And she's left it short again. Yeah. That's um, Third end running, she's left the bowl quite well short. I have to say that uh, up to that end, over the middle, where Lynn produced, produced a fantastic last bowl to count, which we commented on at the time, mm. it's been a, you know, that seems to have spurred Lynn Pitchard on and it's had the opposite mm. effect on Lynn Runner. Yeah. She's lying two good ones here. She needs to find one here because she's looking. I'm not sure she's reached. I don't think she's reached. She's left it on the mat. She'd be disappointed with that. Oh, what a difference three ends have made. Mm. I'm having a side toucher over the middle there. 17-11. Just four shots away from a six Waterloo ladies title. What, a, what an achievement that would be. Yeah. This game's not over, and Lynn Women needs to find that form she was producing yeah, to I mean, take the lead at 11 10. In the middle of the game, and she said, come back out. She had five twos in her 11 shots, didn't she? She did. Good twos. And you have to say she matched Lynn Butcher on every aspect of the game, calling the short yeah. everywhere. It's just in this second half of the game, it's slipping away. And this becomes a vital end now. And this is, uh, the jack just a few I think yards this is a good bowl. I think she's played a real one. Absolute real one. Yeah. What a good lead. The, uh, applause from the crowd there. Yeah. They're going fully probably 55 yards, Keith, and she's played on a, just about a foot on the side. I don't think Lynn Rimmer's reached. Yeah, All of a sudden, well she's sure, not reaching. She stopped reaching. She was certainly reaching before. Well, here she goes again with another ball now. She's only got to miss the short ball either side, which she has. 
which is now lies two, and then another good bowl. <coughs> well, I am impressed with uh, Lynn Pritchard's corner play. Lynn Rimmer nearly, really needs to find a bowl there. She's certainly further. She She's got a chance. Around. She's got a chance. You need to pick it up. Oh! Has she knocked it too far? There's an applause from the crowd over this right hand side, but they can't really see where they've finished. She certainly looks like she's followed it, but she did give it a thump. She needed that, even... She was looking at 19-11 down and that she's won it. What a good ball. Yeah, that was a real... That was a vital ball. Pressure ball, isn't it? Yeah. She was facing being 19-11 down, instead to 12-17. If she casts her mind back to where she was in this corner a few ends ago, she came up the green edge and played an absolute front toucher. Mm, that's where she's going. What she'd give for another one of those now? She's come the same mark. Mm. Maybe a fraction further. Now then. Just think you're playing at Whitworth out of the dip corner. Get hold of it. No, oh, it's gone by. Yeah. That's what pressure does to you, isn't it? Yeah. I'm afraid she's left too much room there for Lynn Pritchett there. Well, Lynn is certainly not as far. No, give her probably a yard yeah. of room. Another pressure ball needed here from uh, Lynn Rimmer. She certainly took some out. Well, looks better. She length. certainly took some out. Good ball. Yeah. Good Lynn reply. Back. She's hanging on in there. This is not over. Don't look now. And, uh, Don't look now. Sure. Just peg slightly now off the land. No. It's not a ball gone down there like that at all, hasn't it? They've all. So well, you did one. Mm, one to lend memo. Now then, are we going to go, is she going to go back on this the, mark? The scoreboard there. She's going to fool us here, she's coming up this edge. 17-13 to Pritchett. Now she's abandoned the mark she played in the semi-final with uh, Maureen Lanes where she was swinging it over to that, the other side of the green. Yeah, change of scene, Rich, totally. Needs a good lead. Needs a good lead. Someone's to the last end, really, about a yard yeah. past. Well, it's this one there. This one's not a yard it's past. It's got to limp. It's got to limp. It looks a little bit more bias in them Pritchard's bowls there to limp them, is the way they finish it. Nobody said whether that's won it or not. Nobody's asked. Well, does this one make the trip? No, this is short as well. Who's on? Oh, she's going to be disappointed with that one. She might be more disappointed if she found out she's one down. Well, nobody's asked, nobody's signalled. We don't know whether Lynn's coming for two here or to... Well, who's on? Who's on? I think it might well be two to Lynn Pritchard. It is. It is. <coughs> it is. There we are. 19-13. Two more she needed, um, she needed just a better yeah. lead, didn't she? So just two shots away from a six ladies Waterloo title. What an achievement that would be. She seems very comfortable on the green. I suppose after winning well, five yes, titles, she would be. She, but uh, she's won, say, five, five titles, and she's just two shots away from a six. Uh, she does play with Good confidence. Lead, yeah. Plus, she's great lead. She's won great you know, lead. mixed pairs titles on here, numerous things. That's the last thing Lynn really wanted to see. At 1913, is picture and one. A matter of about six inches short of the jack. And she's not threatened it. I think she's going to lie game against the next time Lynn Rimmer sends a ball. Now then, is this the ball? Is this the ball 
Liverpool will clinch the sixth title. He's certainly going to make two. It's a great ball. Yeah, a good ball it's again. a great ball. Well, she can't be short at these. She has to certainly reach the end. Oh, it's a biggish target. There's plenty to rest on. Just the uh, on land and up, I think the motto, isn't it, Key? It is. You've got to give it a chance. Well, she's done that. She's given it a chance. It's in the lap of the gods now. Oh, she's Ooh. done the gap. She's done the there gap with that. We Lynn have Pritchard. Six times ladies Waterloo champion. Oh, tremendous achievement, isn't it, uh, Keith? Yeah, I think it is, and, and and that game changed on that on the end when it was at like 11-10, yeah. and we come to a time that what a good bowl that, that Lynn Pritchard had made to beat a side touch at the end, and from that she's gone from strength to strength, yeah. and she runs out a worthy winner. She's played consistently all day. She stuck to her guns. She's played the long march. She's played the short one she needed to, and I think you'd have to say that, that she's a worthy winner. She is, yeah. She's uh, throughout the day. She's uh, again a hugger for mum, Irene. You know, she was very proud of her. I think Lynn Rimmer, when she looks back, will be pleased with her achievements. And for the first half of that game, she matched Lynn Pritchard every step of the way. And it just simply changed. She a couple of ends where she played short, and she played marvellous all day up to yeah. that point. She can, uh, Lynn Rimmer can be very proud of herself today, how well she's played. And um, I'm sure it won't be the last time we see her in the final no. there. No, she's she's done Rochdale proud and she's done herself proud. And there we have it. I think they're just setting up now for the uh, presentation. Presentation on the green. We started. There's Julie Green, the uh, losing yeah. semi-finalist, re receiving our uh, award from uh, Jimmy Parker. Yeah. Done very well, I'm sure that despite defeat, it, her father stands uh, very proud of it. Yeah. Maureen Lyons. What a, what a performance by Maureen. Yeah, 71 years old and uh, played really well all day. Again, beat some excellent players en route. Played a good stand in the bowls as well. Yeah. And the photographers are all out there. Done marvellous, yeah. Lynn. She has, yeah. She's Can really it? played well. I don't think it'll be the last we see of her. No. Obviously, she'll be disappointed to lose in the final. Nobody wants to do that. But when she looks back, you can go back to that uh, game against uh, Kathy Wilson in the quarter final. She's all but 18 down and found three great balls yeah, to get through. Played marvellous in the semi final. And as I've said, for the first half of this final, she matched Lynn Pritchard every step of the way. And in the end, I think that little bit of class is just told. And green knowledge. Yeah? Yes. There's Lynn going out. Yeah. Deserved round of applause. And a kiss off Jimmy Parker, although I'm sure she'd sooner have the money. Yeah, I think that's just the downside of winning. <laughs> You can't have everything. Yeah. And that's uh, the sailing also qualifies for the Oceanica Masters in Portugal in October. Well, yeah. that's something that's uh, another fantastic tournament. Yeah. And a worthy addition to our game. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure now she's there with the trophy, and uh, we'll get to have a chat with her very shortly after this short break. Thank you. Right, here we are with a very, very smiling winner, Lynn. <laughs> Six titles. Yes, what, does that, what does that mean to you? Um, a lot. A lot. I mean, winning it the first time is something, winning it five times is something else, but uh, winning it six is something that you never think you can do. Um, but I've had some tough games today, I've come through a tough ace. I mean, the final, I mean, set up in the final, 4 0 up, looked like he was cruising there. And then came back at you to lead 11-10. Yeah. And the whole final seemed to change on one end. Mm. 
over the middle where she made a good lead and he beat the lead and she beat it back. Yeah. And you beat a side toucher. Yeah. And it just seemed to be that the numbers sort of seemed to go down with that. She was mm -hmm. playing to go back 12 to 10. Mm -hmm. I knew she was kind of away from them in the corners, had some good leads. Yeah. Seems to play some of your better marks in the corners. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great, obviously, I like. I tend to play, play the corners on here more often than not. Um, and yeah, you say, it was a good end, and probably that end was a turning point in the game, really. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel as I was leading particularly well at, at 11 across. I had to give myself a kick at the back side and we were talking to. But uh, yeah, to get me to 19, I laid two reelings in this corner here at 17, and she played a smoker. She did. Um, you know, you just got to get over those ends and forget them quickly and carry on. I mean, at the start of the day, you were 7 to 4 favourite. All the pressure is on you. Everybody's out there to try and top you off the crowd. Do you feel that or do you just try and put that to one side and just play? Um, just put it to one side really, Keith. Um, obviously with, with, with the field, uh, as I said at the start of the day, uh, last year's champion, Mick and Lisa Herbert never made it. Karen Galvin and Nicola Bolton all fell at early stages. So I guess the odds were quite short as well without them being there. But, you know, we, I just take one game at a time and, and one bowl at a time if I'm a bad end. Forget it and on to the next one. When we look at the trophy, we all know we left the trophy up there. <laughs> six times on there. Yeah. Brian Duncan only won it five on the men's and you've now won it six. Mm -hmm. That's a huge achievement though. It is it's something I'm you know extremely proud of. Um it's fair to say in the men's game, perhaps the standard is is that bit higher, you know, not, not being disrespectful to the women. Uh, I mean Brian's record of the game is he's phenomenal. But yeah, six Ladies Waterloo titles. As a, as a girl, as age eight, starting out bowling, it was always the one I wanted to win. And uh, really, never even knew I was dreams of think I'd ever win six times. But here we are. Just what what all the other ladies want to know is we'll be back next year to try and win it number seven, or you're going to give them a chance. Oh, I think I'll have to come back and defend it. <laughs> Very well done. Many congratulations. Thank you. Without them, you play marks. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. So that's it from the Waterloo Hotel Blackpool. We've seen some marvellous bowling here in the ladies Waterloo. A deserved uh, winner, my uh, normal co-commentator. She's left me on my own all day while she's been messing about on this bowling green. But she's got this trophy here to prove um, it's all been worthwhile. So from me and from Lynn, a very happy Lynn, I think, isn't it? Yep, it's, uh, it's goodbye from us at the Waterloo until the next time. Goodbye.